So this might be the only culprit right here. Happy New Year and welcome back to Boisterous Cock Farmstead. Uh, it is third day of January and I came out and I started doing this project without messing with uh, doing any camera but I wanted to come out here and actually shoot with my new camera that I got for Christmas. So it is a Canon EOS M50 I believe and so Got a nice little flip screen over to the side here where I can actually see myself, see the shot. Uh, before I was just using GoPro only. But what we've got here is it came out this morning and this little area here uh, was just filled with water. The pigs, I've got three pigs in here, um, two boars here, and then there's a barrow. And uh, I'm trying. I'm isolating these guys in this center pin here, so that I can feed them. There, there aren't any larger pigs in here with them, so I should be able to get them to grow a little bit better um, than when they were in with uh, gumbo and pumpkin. At least two of these guys were in with with gumbo and pumpkin, and the barrow was over with his two sisters and his mama. So, came out here, this was all rooted up a little bit and there was uh, standing water in it, but there wasn't really a ton. So I figured it was kind of the same situation as I had where a fitting failed or there was a slight crack in the pipe. And so I dug this up and right here is a fitting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this back to about here and here and I've got a compression repair piece and this will just go right in here and uh, we'll turn it back on and hopefully we don't have any leaks anymore. So uh, because I'm in with the pigs, I'm not going to be filming the actual uh, work that's being done on it because I don't want them nosing up at the camera or knocking it over or whatever, so. But this is a good chance for me to export all the footage and all that stuff and, and get it edited and see how this camera compared to what I've been using for the last two years to make videos. So, stick around and I'll show you the progress as I'm done with it. All right, so what I've done is I've cut out the old piece. I'll show, that, show you that here in a second. And I've just taken some uh, plumber's emery cloth tape and roughed up the edges here and just put some water. I brought some clean water out in a, in a two liter bottle and just cleaned up these fitting uh, junctions. And if you've never used one of these before, um, basically this unscrews here, there's an o-ring on the inside, so you would seal this on one edge, and then you have to get a straight fitting and glue it to this side, and then glue that to, um, the other end there, and then right where it tapers down, that actually slides out and adjust to whatever the the length is so you just need to make sure that it's wide enough that when these are put together you can screw this in um, when it's extended and doing my inspection here I did it was pretty much what I thought it was is just the glue they didn't use enough glue there should be glue all along 
this piece of pipe and there's basically hardly any glue in there so whoever was doing the the uh, pipe installation on this property uh, before I bought it just did not know how to uh, properly install the pipe um, so we're gonna fix it and hopefully there aren't a whole bunch of these you can see there's one of my pigs over there is actually trying to get some water out of the automatic feeder or the automatic waterer over there, the drinking nipple. But I've got it turned off right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, up and running again so that they've got water to drink. So basically what I had to do was push this portion all the way back, at least until it was flush with this end, the sliding piece. There's actually two O-rings through the center section here. And what you do is you slide that back, glue this, glue both of these joints here on, and then you've got it. There'll be a gap so that you can put this piece in, glue it to this pipe, and then you just slide this collar over. And make sure that you've got the O-ring seated properly. That's on the left-hand side, and then you just hand tighten this really good. And there are no apparent. Uh, leaks so that's a good sign the water is back on they're back over there drinking I'm filling their wallow up a little bit more so I'll give this a couple minutes uh, and then I'll check it again before I bury it so while I was turning the water back on over there um, an issue that has kind of been An issue that's been kind of surfacing lately is I've been losing some eggs and they were being pecked open, broken open, licked out. Uh, I know for one, one of my cats is involved, but I don't know. I don't know if she's just involved in the cleanup process or if she's in, in, involved in the breaking process. So I've got at least a couple chickens that try to lay in this in this trailer and uh, that's the one that the cat consistently gets to and I don't know if like I said I don't know if she's biting it open or if she's just opportunistic that when a chicken goes in there and pecks it she just gets in there and licks it out because the shell is like licked super clean but there was a chicken in here in the coop that was making a bunch of noise and there she is right there and so what I did uh, when I went to go let's see the lighting's really bad there when I went to go turn the water back on uh, she was the only chicken that was in the coop at the time she was up in the box and there was a pecked egg up in there. So what I did was I went and got uh, one of the eggs from a previous day and set it up in the same box with the only chicken in here and we're checking it and looks like the, the egg is still intact. Make sure there aren't any. So there aren't any other eggs in there at the moment. So I'm gonna leave her in here for a little bit. Elsa. Elsa. Yeah, she can get out. If she wants to. So I'm gonna leave leave that chicken in there. And uh it's not gonna be too long because that's the those are the laying boxes, so I don't want all the girls to to be shut off, but they're still out picking, pecking, and, and doing some stuff. Looks like this little girl here is wanting to go lay her egg. And I think Sapphire is wanting to lay her egg. So, well, that chicken's causing a ruckus again. So, we'll see if she, 
She's going into that box. We'll see if she pecks at it. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And uh, if I do find that she's at least one of, I'm hoping she might be the only one, but if she's one of the ones that's pecking my eggs, can't have that. So she'll be, uh, she'll be dealt with accordingly. All right, so it's been, I don't know, close to 10 minutes. And uh, I don't see any leaking going on in here and as an update i went over to the chicken coop there and i watched that chicken and she got up in the box and she actually looked like she was trying to get the egg that i set out as a bait looked like she was trying to put it under her chest and lay on it a little bit and then she got back down and so i don't think she's the culprit i think she was just at the wrong place at the wrong time drew some suspicion so now that this is actually holding, um, I am going to go ahead and bury this pipe so that the pigs don't accidentally, you know, investigate and step on the uh, pipe and bust it and I have to repair it again. I don't have another one of those uh, patch fittings. So um, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm going to keep an eye out for uh, the, uh, the egg snatching caper whatever um situation throughout the day and uh we'll get these guys back in business they've, they've got water filling the other wallow now and uh we'll catch you guys later so this might be the only culprit right here so i've been watching See if I can get her in the shot there. I've been watching the the coop. Uh, it's been I don't know three hours or so now, and there's been a lot of chickens in and out of there. I've gone out and collected all but the one bait egg uh, over time, and I just saw Georgie in that chicken coop which is actually the first time i've ever seen her in there not to say it's the first time she's been in there and i ran her off from over in the coop and she came straight over to the hay trailer here and i think she was looking for an egg so i think she's just figured out all the goodness the creamy the creamy goodness that's inside of an egg and she's just finding more and more places that these chickens are leaving these eggs I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on her um, we've got three other cats around here so if she's going to be a problem um, we may find we may have to find a new home for her if we can um, instead of just losing losing product every day so let's check in here again there's a there's a chicken sitting on top of the bait egg there so and she seems I don't know how uh, she's already laid her egg or what Here's two of the other cats that we've got. These are the ones that were born last spring. So that's never good when your animals don't behave in a manner that uh, is beneficial to your overall production. But identifying the problem, I guess, is the first and most important step. And then uh, deciding how you're going to deal with it is the next step if you do find so another thing i want to show is uh this really bizarre little bed that my pigs this has been here for weeks and i'm not sure which one of them did it but this is like their uh their daytime sun basking bed is what what I've observed, and uh, 
there's pumpkin and gumbo over there. Those are the only two pigs that are over here now. But I see mostly gumbo laying in this during the day. Every once in a while I'll see pumpkin go with them, lay down with them. So these are the three boys uh, that were in the pen when I did the uh, pipe repair. And let's see if I can get this on camera better. So these two guys are actually brothers. And the one over there on the right is the one that had been over in with Gumbo and Pumpkin. And then this guy right here. And he's actually much smaller than he should be. Um, but he's been over here with his dad from the time he was probably like four months old. And at that time, I only had a couple areas to, to uh, house my pigs or keep, keep them um, contained. And so he's just always been competing for food and losing, obviously. And so, uh, in an effort to get him to get up to size a little bit better, um, he's in there with my my two hybrid boys. Look at that. He was... What are you doing? Trying to find some eggs? She's usually a really good hunter too, so she's, I don't know if it's really slim, slim pickings out in the field. I see quail all the time, so she might just be getting lazy. Found an easy, easy meal and a daily meal and she's just giving up on working for it. Georgie, are you getting lazy? You getting lazy on me? So I think that's gonna do it for today. Stand where it's not blinding me here. And uh, I'll, I'll edit this footage here on my new camera and hopefully get the, the video up here either later today or tomorrow. Um, so as always, uh, thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, please su consider subscribing to our channel and uh, leave any comments that you have down in the comment section. I'd be happy to, to answer them as best I can. And uh, click the bell notification so that you know when new videos come out. And as always, God bless and uh, see you next time.